Hey gamers, Bad Luck Gaming here, and welcome to the Void in Final Fantasy XIII. Too, uh, I kind of left off here, kind of short notice, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of story stuff here. A map of the Void Beyond. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Also, there's something behind us. Uh, no, you know what? We came from that. So let's go this way. Gates. Okay. And oh. Oh good. We can't get past. You know, I've seen you I've seen her. She has impressive jumping skills. She could actually fall from like twenty feet and not hurt herself. Look at that. You don't even have to jump. You can just like step up on that. Look at the length of her leg compared to the stone. Game rules. Alright. So we have to go through the distortion then. Alrighty. Yes. Oh, they make it sound like this. Something's coming. Oh, you know what? I bet it's gonna be another one of those puzzle solving doohickers. Nope. Oh. A new time travel zone. So I guess I can't enter this location yet until uh, I uncover more areas. So I actually want to go to Sunlith Waterscape. And that looks like snow without his hat on. Maybe if you're clingy. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer past happiness to future uncertainty. Whoa, they're just spawning out of nowhere. Or they're multiplying. It looks like they're spawning. How are they the end of the world? How do you know this is the end of the world? Tell me. Is Sarah Yule? Bastard. There's invisible creatures here. Well, and I'm not going to get into any kind of battle unless she's here. Because otherwise, Noel is super screwed because he can't summon creatures. So he not only. Wow. He's alone. 
Whoa. Sarah. That's probably snow. It looks like snow. Is Nola supposed to be a Ravager? <laughs> He's gonna do something at badass then. Damn it, it's a boss battle! Ah, I don't have my right stuff. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, nice. Oh, tortoise stance. Oop. No, not that one. Well, I guess. I'm sorry. Okay, now I can switch to try disaster. Oh, I'm still null. Oh, I thought he was revitalizing. Oh, well, he's not doing a lot of damage to us, actually. Okay, let's change leader. Cause Sarah's the one who does the most damage. Yeah, alright. Let's get some diversity going just so he can get some health back while we're pummeling him down. He looks like he's gonna attack again. I am. Can attack again. You know, if you're just gonna keep attacking, I'm just gonna use my guy. All right. Now some diversity. Let's get some healing done on Noel, and then we'll do commando. X. Woo. <laughs> I knew he was going to do something badass. Is he a synergist? Tortoise. He's also reviling himself over and over and over. So it's going to be a perpetual boss battle. The Ripeness, I think his name is. <laughs> Royal Ripeness. Okay, please, kitty cat, for the love of all that is good, heal our shit. Stop healing Sarah, heal freaking Noel. Oh my god, you hate Noel. Okay, just heal Noel, you stupid cat. All right. Let's get some buffs. Hurry up, no. Oh my gosh, buff faster. Another damage buff you got. Hurry up! Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
It really does that, doesn't do that much damage. Switch to diversity. Come on, 200. Oh my gosh, thank you. Now aggression. Not aggression. Oh, I don't have my commando. Oh, well, whatever. Come on, I'll buy an Lobo. God, this is going to be a hard boss battle because he's constantly casting revive on him, or revitalize on himself. And all taking some heavy damage. Guys, get some diversity going and get the kitty cat to heal Noel, hopefully. Stop healing, Sarah. Oh my gosh. Heal, no, my goodness, please. His cat hates no. Uh, it roared. Usually that means he's gonna summon something. Oh, okay. EX. I'll just keep this up, diversity, because he's just going to keep pummeling us. Twister. I think it's down. Oh, that's right. You know, for a boss, he doesn't do that much wounding, actually. Come on, no buff. Did we get debuffed? Protect. Okay, we got debuffed. What the heck? Why are we getting debuffed? Oh, we're about to burst him again. My gosh, this basketball is taking forever. I'm so sorry. Boss battles are hard to predict what kind of units you need. Like honestly, I didn't need my Ravager in this side because he was he's kind of easy to stagger. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we just keep getting debuffed. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with diversity. Oh, we got down. Okay, good. Thank goodness. That's a long battle. Oh. Obvious. Bam. Well, I actually lifted it off the ground. Oh, backspace. 
Go. Go. So did I. Perfect. Yeah. He exploded into little ones. I don't think that's a good thing, though. Yeah, you got crystal heart and potent crystals. Crystals, I think, are up from drops. He does hit really hard. Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes you gotta make a stand. You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. Snow's still a douchebag, in my opinion. How do you know you're in the future? Changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Also, you never learn how much of a douchebag he is. And that's how we got here. <laughs> now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? You really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the plan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well... It was more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing? That plan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Renewing Fang, they're inside it. Yeah. So Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. Well, it's consistent with what I know. Oh, killing it's obviously not going to help. Uh... See, I hate some of these options because it's like, it's obvious. Let's defeat the plan. Not going to happen. Are Fenil and Fang okay? I guess that's a more story related one. There's no telling how many people will die. A lot. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of flan appearing out of nowhere and refusing. It's a paradox. 
<laughs> Sorry to say the obvious. If it is, you'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact first. Lightning. Don't you need snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit. Even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. A bit too late, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with snow helps me forget about what I don't know what she sees in him. Oh my gosh. Guess he's just not my type. Why? Uh, okay. Well, that's it for this episode. That plant boss fight took forever. Uh, I wish you could switch paradigm packs in a fight. So uh, you, then I could have like my boss set up along with my other setup. So if I have a boss fight that I'm not defeating one way, I can switch up to another rather than having to die first. I don't know. That's just my complaint, though. So, that's it for this time. Uh, next time, we're going to explore the sunless... I forget. Sunless something. Warm sunless. I forget. Anyway, ciao for now, gamers, and happy time exploring.